So we've had a big cultural change in the last two years. This is a team that at two or three years ago was pretty divided. It was a team that wasn't really a family and was not cohesive at all. And we did a lot of work our, my first year here to try to change that. And in last year's season, even given all the distractions with COVID and with quarantines and positive cases, we still had a team that was very, very close. And that's only continued to attract people that want that kind of atmosphere, but they're also very competitive people. So that's another change that's, uh, that our team has had in the last two years is that it's gotten a lot more competitive and it's attracted a lot more, um, not just high quality student athletes, but some really quality swimmers as well. On the men's team, it's Steven. Um, Steven had a great year and would have done very well at nationals if they had happened. Unfortunately, they didn't. Ben Hawkins is also right up there. Aubin Doolin and Logan. Uh, those guys were really key at conference last year and they carried our team through our relays. And they swam all five relays and did a tremendous job of carrying the team through and, and ultimately leading us to our first conference championship. On the women's side, Maggie Blazo, uh, we're fortunate to have her for another year. She's uh, going to be a critical element to our leadership and, and the trajectory of our women's team moving forward. Along with Maggie is Gabby. Um, Gabby's definitely looking forward to a normal year and she's also somebody that would have done really well at nationals. So we're very much looking forward to what she can do. Tyler Cates and Kaylee Williams um, also will be really high impact swimmers for us on the women's side. On the men's side, uh, Victor Perkowski, he's a um, standout swimmer and has been for his four years at Union. Um, so we're fortunate to be able to bring him in uh, for a, a graduate year here. So he's going to have a huge impact on our team. Andre um, on, on fly and free and all of our relays is going to have a tremendous impact. We're really glad that he's going to be here this year. He went through a lot just to get here with travel bans and travel restrictions. So we're really looking forward to both of them joining our team along with our, the rest of our freshman class on the men's side. It's, it's just a really, really deep class um, top to bottom. On the women's side, we have a lot of depth in a lot of areas. Um, Liz Mahan is gonna have a huge impact on freestyle and breaststroke. And Emma Ray Phillips has had a tremendous five weeks of training as well, along with Susie Aguirre. So we've pushed our team a lot more, a lot sooner this year. Looking back at some of the training we did last year, it was still definitely challenging, but we had to keep in mind that uh, COVID was just in the back of our minds. So that affected training a little bit more than it did this year. We're still taking precautions, still being careful, but we've been able to push them and we've had some equipment upgrades that have helped with that. We now have six power racks each with two buckets in each lane, and that's made a big impact, particularly on the sprinters, but we use them for everybody. And, and the team has really enjoyed using them. Um, but again, the training has been a lot more intense a lot sooner this year. So we're definitely looking forward to what we can do tomorrow at our first meet. So we have a lot of things in place that will help us prepare. And, and as I phrase it to the team, we use meets as stepping stones. So for, for this first meet tomorrow, the Kingsport invite, that's gonna set us up really well for the back-to-back -back meet we have with Carson Newman away and then Mars Hill at home. Um, that'll be a tough turnaround, but that's gonna really prepare us for our mid-season meet. Our mid-season meet is going to be a challenge with Queens and with Wingate, perennial division two powerhouses. And that's gonna push our entire team to be better. And it's really gonna end up preparing us very well for nationals when we see some very high level competition. So our goal is always to be at the top end of our conference. Our men are definitely looking to repeat as, as champions. Um, the women have never won. And that's been something that's been a goal every year since I've been here is to get to that top end of our conference and win a title for the women's team. So we're definitely looking forward to those two things. But more importantly, we're trying to keep our team GPAs where they are. And we're continuing to bring in some really high quality student athletes. Average GPA on the men's side is about a 3.6 coming in. On the women's side, it's closer to a 3.7. So we're really excited about that. And we want to continue that trend that we've had and not slip down to where we've been in the past. 
We're just really excited to have more of a normal year. Um, we only had four regular season meets last season. This season we have nine regular season meets in addition to the open water championships that we've already had. So going back to more of a normal season is definitely something that we're looking forward to. We're also looking forward to having a national competition at the end. Um, that was pretty tough on our team, finding that out a week before our conference championships. It affected our taper a little bit, I think. Uh, we still had an outstanding meet. The women swam their tails off, uh, and obviously the men won the conference. That was really exciting. But again, we're looking forward to a normal year and um, continuing to do things that this team has never accomplished.